The city of Flint's current first war councilman is facing some scrutiny over a video that has surfaced on social media. The video shows Leon El Alamin holding a gun at the front door of his rental home. El Alamin said that the evicted tenant illegally changed the door locks and set up security cameras during the eviction. Arlissa Irwin spoke with El Alamin about the video and what he has to say as he continues to campaign for a seat on Flint City Council. Leon L. Alamin was appointed to Flint City Council in March of this year. He says the video that is now circulating on social media was captured in 2022. I had to take a previous tenant to court to evict them. They was refusing to leave the home. They had no lease. They were living in the house illegally. I went through the court process. I won in court properly twice. Um, after you went in court, they give you like a set amount of days. A person has to officially be out of there. <laughs> El Alamin said the day the video was captured, he and his maintenance man were going to clean the home. The tenants were supposed to be already moved out. But El Alamin said because of the previous climate with the eviction and issues he had to take to court, he wanted to be prepared as the police had been called numerous times because of landlord tenant issues. Rolled by and seeing the boyfriend of this individual in a hoodie going into the house with something in his, his pocket, like a gun. I alerted my maintenance guy and said, hey, I just seen a guy with a hoodie going up to the house. I'm going to go get my registered. You might want to carry yours. El Alamin had previously had his felony charges expunged, meaning he can legally possess a firearm, even showing us the court orders and his license to carry, claiming everything was done by the books. He explained the video was brought up at a city council meeting when he was first appointed. And I addressed it then. They have investigated me, they did it, and I welcomed it. I'm not hiding anything. I would not put myself in this position if I couldn't be in this position. El Alamin said he will continue to help others receive a second chance as he continues to live his. I wouldn't, I'm not here to, to try to harm no one, but I don't want to be harmed either. And I'm tired of just my name being slandered, bashed, all this nonsense. Carol McIntosh is challenging Al Alamin for the first ward seat in November 5th's election. Here in Flint, I'm Alyssa Irwin with ABC 12 News.